Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and we're live here on Shaw TV. And it's a miracle it's nice tonight. <laughs> Considering last Wednesday I was sliding all the way home on that ice. Didn't even know if I was going to make it home. It was just craziness. I'm sure we all can relate to that. <laughs> and on tonight's show, as I normally do, I have a guest. And just a reminder, Calgary, we are going to be opening up those phone lines after our short commercial break. And that number to give us a call is 403-539-6710. So after our commercial break, feel free to give myself and my guest a call. And I do have an interesting guest on tonight, as I normally do. And welcome, Calgary, my guest, Donnie Zest. Thank Hi, you, Donnie. How are you today? I'm excellent. Awesome. I'm doing excellent. How are you? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah, it's really fun to be here. It's been great meeting everybody today. Yeah. You didn't slide here th tonight, did you? No, it was very nice out today. I actually <laughs> had the window down a bit. Yeah. 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 Last week, it was just craziness. That's right. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know Donnie, there he is. Hello. Live in the flesh. <laughs> So can you tell our viewers, there's lots of little things about them. So can you tell our viewers, first of all, how you got healthy? Well, um, I, I started to get healthy. I went through uh, church with a friend of mine. He uh, took me to a men's health fair and he was older than me. And when we got the results of everything, he was healthier than me. So I didn't feel too good about that. And uh, I went home, made some changes to my diet, and started going to the gym, and uh, started exercising regularly, and, and eventually I ran a, a 10K, and then the half marathon, and then I ran the full marathon. Mm. So to run that 10K, how long did that take you to, like, because I'm sure that it, it took you time to build up to that. Yeah, we would, we would go, uh, actually, I, at the time I was downtown, we would go do, like, you know, 5K runs at lunch and just kind of build towards the 10K. So you started off automatically running 5Ks just like that a day? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd lost weight and been riding my bike to work and it was yeah. pretty considerable distance. So yeah, yeah it was felt pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How did you, all of a sudden, just by that test, you're like, you know what? That's it. I'm changing. I'm shifting. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was, you know, it, 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 it shouldn't have been that way that my older friend was healthier than me. And <laughs> I felt like, man, I must be doing a lot of stuff wrong. So what changes did you make? Like uh, diet was the first one. Yeah. Um, I, I literally just went on to uh, a diet plan where it was a certain amount of calories a day. And, and mm -hmm. eventually it was not even a full two months. And I was completely like ready to wow. start riding my bike and stuff. Wow, that's pretty good though, two months. Cause I know some people of course have to go a few months or whatever like that. Were you really heavier or just, you just really needed a couple of pounds? It was heavier for me. It was, <coughs> it was a, a decent amount of weight. Like it was, it was probably in the 20 pound range and uh, you know, just being consistent and sticking yeah. to it. And, and it, it came off for me. Wow. <laughs> How many of you can stick to that, Calgary? <laughs> New challenge. That's right. <laughs> New challenge. Oh, hey, that's it. Yeah, talk about that one. Yeah. Absolutely do that. So I know that <clears throat> one of the reasons how we connected is, is on a spiritual level. That's whenever right. I met you. And I know that you were talking about um, God, how you feel that he has a plan for you. And I, I, I agree with that as well. Can you share more about that with our viewers? Yeah, and you know, this, it doesn't happen overnight, but this is something that uh, for me, uh, it's, it's been a long time. Uh, you know, my, I, I didn't go to church growing up and you know, I just, the, the right people came into my life at the right times. And um, you know, it, it's one of those things that's, it's been a journey and um, you know, I feel that every day. So, you know, I find the right friends, the right people to hang out with, and uh, you know, people don't really understand it <clears throat> until they get involved in it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, I, I would have never been able to talk about it before because it just wasn't yeah. something that I lived. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what drew you in, into going to church? When did you start going? <clears throat> it's probably been about 10 years. Oh, really? Um, we actually had neighbors that took us, and we took a course that was called Alpha. And Alpha was uh, a weekly course, and we would go to the church, have dinner, um, and it would explain things. And it was a video that we watched, and it's a pretty prominent guy that you know people are familiar with. And the guy's name is Nicky Gumbel, and he would explain things every week, and it was just little by little in increments. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that you've you've helped people, like you you've helped many people. Well, I I try yeah. to help friends yeah. or or people that I know, and yeah. uh, having kids was one of those things that kind of that's where you know God put that on my heart to uh, to learn that is mm -hmm. I didn't want my kids to have nothing. Yeah. 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 So what does it it mean to you to be Christian? Because you're not religious you're more spiritual, but what, what does it mean to you for you to be a Christian? Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> prior to this, I would have been maybe watching the Super Bowl or something, and I wouldn't understand why that guy's first thing that he would say uh, when he got the trophy would be to, to give it up to his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I, I never understood why they would do that. And, and now I do, because it, it's, it's really part of living your life through the eyes of God and the way mm -hmm. you, you should do things. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's nobody's perfect, and yeah. it's it's definitely something that that takes effort and and commitment, and uh, that's something I've learned over time. Mm -hmm. Have you, have you ever shared your story and and experiences and such like that? Yeah, I've I've actually gone back to Alpha and and spoke at Alpha, and. Uh, you know, it was really rewarding because um, one of the pastors shared with me that, you know, the, the one night that I went and spoke and I, I felt prompted to do that, yeah. that there was a guy that, you know, had, had actually decided to go that night. And his story was similar to mine and, and, and he felt good about that and it, it made him more interested in it because he had heard what I got out of it. Mm -hmm. So what did you get out of it? Like if you, if you were to sum it up, like because I know there's of course a lot of different things, but if you if you were to sum it up your experience from that, what what would you say? Well, <clears throat> faith is a pretty hard thing to um, put into words, but it, it's that feeling that there's never going to be a, something I quit or mm -hmm. you know things aren't going to go wrong. I I just know that they'll mm -hmm. be okay, mm -hmm. and, and the. That's, that's something to gain that that's not a simple mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Faith is something that mm -hmm. if you're committed and you feel that pull towards it, it's a, it's a great thing to have. Because mm -hmm. I know that um, even whenever I was with you and stuff like that, we we're talking about different healings and everything like that. And um, your healings are different than um, some of the other healers, as I call it. Explain how you <coughs> do your healings, because I know everybody has a unique, different way. Um, just through prayer. Mm. Uh, I think prayer is one of those powerful things. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, you always hear about people, uh, and you'll hear a lot of stories in the States where people go and they, they put hands on one another and they pray about things. and. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody has that. Mm -hmm. They do have that actually. Cause I know you did a little healing and prayer. I mean, I could feel that. Yeah. I could feel that shift. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty neat. And that's the Holy spirit. I think, yeah. I, I think it's a real thing. Yeah. It's worked yeah. through the, cause I work with the Christ <laughs> consciousness. Yeah. 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 I've never experienced a reader that, uh, that associates with Christ. So. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's a, a big thing that you have over other people, I think. Yeah. It's just, you know, like that. that's why everybody's unique and everybody has their own energy and, and way to go on things. Yeah. So it's like with your healing, whenever you did the, the hands on amen, Holy Spirit, it was different than other different types of healings. Yeah. So that's what I, that's why I really connected <coughs> with it, I think. And, that, and that's why I really could feel it. Yeah because I work with that energy. Yeah. So. And that's God, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I surrender everything to God completely, 100%, regardless of what, what it is. Well, <laughs> it, it's important to surrender yeah. in life. Yeah. Uh, I think the more we do it, the easier it is to live. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not that issue of control. Mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a peacefulness, right? It is actually, it is. I just say, oh Lord, here we go again. <laughs> Show me a miracle. Lord help mercy. <laughs> you know, you got to do what you got to do. So if somebody wanted to talk to you more um, or to read about your movies and, and your TV series that you're going to be starring in and that you're going to be in and stuff like that. Where is the best way for them to do that? It's just on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm on Instagram as well, but um, yeah. it's really easy to connect on there. And yeah. I'm on a, a TV series where yeah. I have one episode and it's, yeah. it's my first uh, real thing that I've got to act in with lines <laughs> and, and uh, I'm the main character, so I'm yeah. very excited. Yeah, and when is that on? It's on Monday nights. Yes. It, and can what's I it say called? what it's called? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, the, the Shocking Truth. Yes. And it's a local uh, Pyramid Productions is a yeah. Calgary-based place, and and they're the ones who did it. So yeah. I'm very grateful to them. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-tape that yeah. just in case if I'm not free that night. Yeah, and it, it's really well done. It, yeah. it was it was super fun making yeah. it, and yeah. the, everybody on the set and and the crew was fun, just like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's and that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah, because it's got you know Zan, good energy, great people. Yeah, and you make fun. As well, you can sure. see, how we have fun. Yeah. Well, we had lots of fun before the show started. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off scenes. <laughs> okay, now Calgary, we are going to be coming back after this quick commercial break. And we are opening up those phone lines. And that number to give us a call is 403-539-6710, Calgary. So make sure you give myself and Donnie a call after that quick commercial break. We'll be right back. 